in what was the fourth major shark attack reported this month, this one going viral just yesterday, that's December 12th, 2023, the serene waters off the coast of central Queensland, Australia, on what was supposed to be a day of exploration, turned into a harrowing tale of survival for Matteo Mariotti, a 20-year-old marine biology student. Now this incident, although it was made public just yesterday, it actually happened on December 8th, so that was last Friday, a day which already started out as a tragic day for Matteo. And with the sun casting its golden hues over the remote 1770 beach on that late afternoon after a heavy rainfall, Matteo, not long after having received heart-wrenching news of his grandfather's passing, decided to take a swim in the waters around the headlands at 1770, and he'd do this right by a waterway to help clear his mind. Now according to Queensland locals, this particular spot can get pretty risky for a swim, especially after rainfall, conditions that cause things like food to get flushed into the sea from the waterway, which in turn tends to draw in sharks looking for a bite. And this increased his confidence that the conditions were right for swimming which is when he donned his snorkeling mask and took a small camera, hoping to capture some video of the serene underwater world, a practice that had become second nature to him. But this tranquility had turned to terror when in the midst of his swim, Matteo suddenly felt a sharp, unbearable pang in his foot, the pain engulfing his entire leg in a matter of seconds. A shark, unseen and unexpected, had attacked, sinking its teeth deep into his ankle and attempting to drag him out to sea. In a bid to save his life, Matteo then managed to grab the shark's head, and aided by a surge of adrenaline and quick thinking, he then used all his might to pry open its massive jaws, freeing his leg. Although he knew that at this point, the damage he'd sustained was severe, and that from the knee down, there was nothing left. Bleeding profusely and in shock, Matteo began to swim frantically back to shore, his muffled screams echoing underwater as he fought to reach the beach, where his friend Tommaso, a nurse and diving instructor would receive him as a still rolling camera captured what Matteo thought were his final moments. Now due to the restrictive nature of this platform, I'm not able to share that video here but you can find it pretty easily on YouTube if you search for it. But if you'd like to support the channel and that's of course very much appreciated, I will upload a version of it to my Rumble page where you can watch it for free which I'll leave a link to in the pinned comments for those of you who want to watch it. I'll also upload it to my Patreon as well. But once again, it's highly important that I note that viewer discretion is strongly advised as the video is not an easy watch and is quite graphic. Tommaso sprang into action, essentially saving Matteo from the clutches of death. Upon receiving him at the shore, he proceeded to help slow the bleeding down and contacted rescuers right away. A helicopter would arrive at about 5 p.m. In the first seconds, it was really panic for me. After that, I tried to think to folk what I have to do and I tried just my, my best to save him. I didn't want to go inside the water. I just told him he's, maybe it was dangerous. I was yelling me many times to help. I tried to put something on his leg because in, at the first moment I saw the leg was up. Matteo, who'd lost consciousness during this time, would then be carried by Tommaso on his shoulder to the stretcher as soon as the chopper arrived. This is quite serious, quite daunting to look at. He had a bite on his ankle and a bite, you know, mid below his knee. So he had two really major injuries. Due to the severity of his injuries, doctors were forced to amputate Matteo's leg, stating that doing so was a necessary medical intervention in order to save his life and to prevent future health complications. Now, in regards to the species of shark that attacked Matteo, Queensland Ambulance Services' Martin Kelly was quoted saying, It's not yet quite clear what kind of shark it was that attacked Matteo, but one thing's for sure, there's a lot of different sharks out at the moment. People are seeing bull sharks and tiger sharks around, so it had to be a reasonable sized shark, especially from what I saw of the bite. But also, it doesn't really have to be a big shark to cause an injury, particularly around an ankle. And to further reinforce his remarks, drone footage shot last week at Agnes Water which is about 10 kilometers from 1770, shows dozens of sharks circling near the shores of the same waters that Matteo was swimming in when he was attacked. Determined to overcome this challenge and to help with the medical costs, Matteo went on to set up a GoFundMe page, which I'll leave a link to in the description of this video, and thankfully he's been garnering support from people around the world, while his story continues to serve as a stark reminder of the commencement of what is known globally as peak shark attack season. So as mentioned in previous episodes, there is a peak period in shark attack incidents every year that begins in November and ends in April. During this time, attacks are reported left, right and center, and remember, plenty more go unreported. So shark attack statistics, like I've said many times before, they're not very reliable when it comes to predicting numbers of attacks, and they should always be taken with a grain of salt. 
meaning precautions and proper swimmer safety, is a must. Now hopefully these recent incidents are not a sign of things to come, because so far this year, this seems like one of the more busier starts to shark attack season if you will, and here's to hoping we don't see an uptick in these incidents as we near 2024. And as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this is the fourth major shark attack to occur in December alone that has managed to make national headlines. Now I've covered the first two fatal ones in detail in recent segments, as well as one of the major non-fatal ones that happened in Port Norlanga. I'll leave them all for you at the end screen of this video for those of you who aren't aware of them yet. And that other non-fatal shark attack that happened, it in fact happened in Queensland as well just a week ago, when a man was reportedly torpedoed by a bull shark, resulting in a bite to his shoulder while diving on a remote Great Barrier Reef island near Cape Melville. In 2022, there was in fact a very low 57 unprovoked shark attacks reported for the year. But it is highly concerning that based on the rate of attacks happening this year, that number looks like it may come closer to the average of 70 incidents reported over the last five years. This is Animal Al. Stay safe out there. Till next time.